Meet Davey Vera, a Cuban-American filmmaker, video producer, photographer, and freelance writer. Based out of Rochester, New York, Davey has long been active in the hip-hop community and is at the front line working to combat police brutality and misconduct. Recall the situation in Rochester when Emily Good was kidnapped and caged for filming a police stop from her own property. A follow-up meeting was held to support Good and to determine how to best move forward. When the police showed up and began to ticket cars parked 12 inches or more from the curb, Davy was on scene, documenting the retaliatory actions, thereby helping others to see the pettiness of the good old boy system. Davy has also called attention to the frequent shooting deaths of family dogs by those wearing Monroe County Sheriff's Department badges. And more recently, Davy worked to uncover the name of the Rochester PD employee who so lovingly kicked her partner, Nina Nowak. Since June, Davey's been one of the most prolific contributors to copblock.org, working to expose double standards and create a better community free from institutionalized crime. Davey has earned the respect of many in the area, including some who don Rochester PD badges, yet it's certain that he's also drawn the ire of those who tend to be more heavy-handed and corrupt. Case in point, an order filed by Jamie Van Dorn, the mother of his daughter, that seems to be more restrictive due to Davy's cop block connection. In Davy's own words, Just recently, while I was talking to my daughter, her mother rudely and abruptly snatched the phone away from her, and my daughter started crying. Then the phone went dead. I tried to call several times, and there was no answer. I texted, but no reply. I then called the police. But as so often happens when someone calls the police, it backfired. Instead of helping to safeguard his daughter by having a welfare check done, which was Davy's intention, the call resulted in Davy himself being visited by Monroe County Sheriff's deputies. Davy was on point and didn't interact with them, and he filmed the interaction. It seems Stephen Stepnick, badge 3709 of the Monroe County Sheriff's Department, so doesn't like Davy's tactics that he encouraged Jamie to file charges against him. In the past, Jamie told Davy that she'd set you up with the police and let them have their way with you. It seems that is happening. The petition Jamie filed, which lists only scant accusations, included only a couple restrictions that didn't really interfere with Davy's ability to see his daughter. And in fact, Davy really wasn't too concerned about this. He knew he didn't do anything in the wrong and knew that he'd be vindicated. Yet days later, the document was amended and made more restrictive. Davy, whose daughter is of paramount importance to his life, He'd call her each afternoon to hear about her day and each evening to wish her good night, as well as pick her up from preschool twice weekly, is now told that he cannot have any contact with his daughter. What changed? The inclusion of a printout from copblock.org of Davy's post made about the incident. Essentially, what that demonstrates, at least in Monroe County, New York, is that one can be punished more severely for exercising one's free speech. Oh yeah! Another reason Davy may be so targeted is the fact that Jamie's father, Thomas Van Dorn, the grandfather of Davy's daughter, is a former Rochester PD employee. Admittedly, it's fairly typical for police agencies to side with complainants seeking orders of protection. Usually such orders last a few days or weeks until both parties appear in court. But what isn't the norm here is the double standard applied to Davy. Monroe County Sheriff's deputies went to check on my daughter's welfare but as is the case when I need any type of police assistance, I'm treating completely different than the average citizen as a result of who I am. Davy has court on December 12th at 9 a.m. on the third floor of the Monroe County Family Court. If you're in the Rochester area, connect with Davy and help him work to erode the claim double standards. Failure to do so today will only make it more difficult tomorrow.